Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. Two kids in France found gold bars worth over $100,000 during the COVID-19 lockdown. Let's explore! That's right, uh, YouTuber DW alerted me to this story. Quite fascinating indeed. Imagine finding two gold bars worth $100,000 uh, while you're building a fort. Let's look at the details here from CNBC. Two French kids reportedly stumbled upon more than $100,000 worth of gold while they were in coronavirus lockdown. According to local media, the children, both around 10 years old, made the discovery when their family went to stay with an older relative in the French town of Vendome after lockdown measures were enforced in March. A few days after their arrival, they decided to build a fort, a BFM TV reported, which led them to search for objects they could use around the house. During the search, the children found the two bars wrapped up in old sheets. Until he saw the bars, the children's father thought they had found his mother's antique knife holders, according to BFM. But when he saw the bars, they weighed around a kilogram each. He contacted local auctioneers who confirmed that they were indeed gold bullion. The bars were set to be auctioned off at Rouloc Auction House in Vendome on June the 16th, reportedly worth just over 100,000 euros or about $108,979 combined. The bars are estimated to fetch at least 80,000 euros at auction. And there is a picture, actually we have that story here showing this bar. Philip Rouloc is showing it. This is all French media here, but Here's what it looks like. Here's a bigger picture of one of the bars. Look at all the stamping on it. Fascinating indeed. Three nines fine. Gold there. Very, very interesting indeed. So Philip Rouloulak, an auctioneer at the organization, told BFM the bars had been bought by the children's grandmother in 1967, but had been lost since then. Can you imagine losing those two gold bars and not searching up and down and sideways throughout the house to try to find them? That's pretty amazing. We're going to wait for gold prices to rise a little more, he said. He added that at the start of 2020, each bar would be worth around 43,000 euros. But by June, their value could rise to 54,000 euros. And so that just goes to show you that more than likely, even this auction here, auctioneer thinks that gold is going to continue to rise in the coming months here. And uh, we'll see here what happens. It's fascinating. Gold certainly has been on a tear uh, for sure. And uh, as of the recording of this video here, you can see gold is up uh, $1,733 an ounce. So it is fascinating indeed to see uh, so much gold here in these two kilogram bars. Um, and it's pretty amazing. And again, here's what it looks like there. Fascinating. The story, the original story here from BFM TV, it shows the two bars here, uh, you know, upside down. You can see kind of the, how thick and how deep they are. You can imagine that that's a, that's 32.15 ounces, uh, for sure. That is a quite, uh, a good chunk of gold right there. Both those bars. And it's bullion that date, dates back to 1967. And look at all the stamps on it. Shows the, uh, the fascinating level and how the French uh, bought gold in those days. Very fascinating indeed. And I'm not sure, don't know how to read French in this browser. How you have to install some sort of option in order to translate. But uh, nonetheless, I think we got the gist of the story here with this. But uh, yes, indeed, and um, and I think it's probably good, and that they're waiting for gold to continue to go up. Now, do we can we take this auctioneer's word for it that gold will continue to rise? 
Well, no, anything could certainly happen. But boy, I tell you what, it certainly does look as if um, the rise in price in gold has been uh, in a positive direction. So it's probably a safe bet that it's going to continue to rise, especially when governments around the world are talking more quantitative easing and uh, injecting liquidity into the markets there. Fascinating indeed. Gold, it is a treasure that uh, has been in hiding for all these years and discovered by two 10-year-old kids. Very, very cool, interesting story uh, for sure. So there you have it. Just as a reminder, folks, I do post videos on a daily basis. And um, if you ever miss a video, you can always come back to the channel page. In fact, many people, again, are telling me how they're not getting notifications of new videos. And so probably if you're interested and um, are entertained and uh, informed, well, you can just bookmark the Salivate Metal uh, YouTube channel page. And check there for new videos on a daily basis if you're interested. And for those who do, um, press the like button. It certainly does help the metrics and get the video out there. Um, it does help the channel a lot. And I want to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch. And thanks again to DW for sending this story along to me. And I want to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.